hi i am really excited because okay full transparency i went on this trip back in april and for whatever reason things were chaotic whatever i have the footage i never edited the video but i really want these memories on my youtube so i am fast forward months later going back to this video and wanting to put it together so future riley here saying thank you for watching also if you are not worried about the like pack and prep portion of this video i am going to put the timestamp for where the actual trip starts so you can skip ahead if you want and i'm putting it right here as i am about to start packing for our trip to the dominican republic it is our honeymoon round two if you don't know we got married about six months ago we just celebrated our six month anniversary and out of the kindness of his heart jared actually planned this trip as kind of like our honeymoon like a second version of a honeymoon we went on a honeymoon but jared really loves an all-inclusive and we did not do an all-inclusive for our honeymoon so he wanted to kind of do another one six months later whatever i'm excited either way we always go on a kind of like longer trip together as a couple every year and so this is our one for 2024 we are going to punta cana we're staying at the breathless resort i'm super excited um, and what makes this trip a little tricky for me at least is the just the way that timing worked out i'm actually flying straight from the dominican to nashville for my friend brianne's bachelorette so I'm get, actually have to be a day late for that too, which kind of sucks, but it'll end up working out. Um, so I basically have to pack for seven days in the Dominican and then three days in Nashville, all in one suitcase. And the way that we like to pack, we like to, um, Jared and I that is, we like to pack one big, like our biggest carry-on and just share that. And then we each have our like roller bags. So that way we have clothes, like God forbid that one suitcase gets lost, blah, 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 blah. So what I'm planning to do is pack like primarily my clothes for like basically some stuff that I can make sure I'm okay if I don't have that big bag in my small roller bag and then throw all the rest of my stuff plus the Nashville stuff in the big suitcase. And then on the way back, basically, I will put my Nashville clothes in my small bag and then just not have a, a checked bag for that trip, if that makes sense. So it's kind of a lot. I have like three different bookings, but it'll all end up working out. We actually leave tomorrow and I woke up and started a panic because I tried to check in for our flight and apparently to get into the Dominican you have to fill out this entry form and I just like panicked and like googled it and like clicked on the first link I saw and it was like saying to pay $70. I was like there's no way it cost $70 to fill out this form that I didn't even know existed and so I texted my friend and she was like no I'm pretty sure I did not pay and I like looked again and I had definitely like chosen some like scammy website and it probably is like legit gives you the the entry form but it obviously makes you pay so anyways i got that figured out this morning and we are good to go found our passports all that's good they made us like download this new app too which was kind of annoying but anyways um i got my nails done last night they're pretty basic but i just had this like dark blue not even dark blue i had this like bright blue on for the longest so i wanted something neutral and yeah let me show you what I've got going on over here. I have this extra clothing rack in my office that I usually use to just start setting clothes aside for trips that I have coming up. I travel a lot for work and obviously for personal stuff. But basically over the past couple weeks, I've just been compiling a bunch of stuff onto this rack and then there's a pile of stuff on the ground. Um, so that way I kind of have the bulk of the things that I want already picked out. Um, and then this pile and over is like Nashville stuff. And then this pile and over is for the DR so far. Um, I've gotten only a couple of new things. I've been really trying to just wear clothes that I have, especially for this Nashville trip. Like everyone in the group chat is like buying, you know, new pairs of cowboy boots and cowboy hats and like all this stuff. I'm like, I just cannot do that right now because it's not gonna be something I will wear again. Um, I did buy a couple of new things for Dominican because I feel like the stuff that I wear there, I can also wear at home. I live in Tampa, Florida. I live at, like near the beach. So I feel like I can get away with some of that stuff more often if that makes sense like i'm not gonna be wearing like cowboy boots you know so i have these ones these ones are so beat up but these are from um college and i wore them tailgating one million times and i don't know if i've worn them since but i'm gonna bring them and say f it you know um also i have my little like straw cowboy hat that i have from my bachelorette 
that I'll wear in both places, hopefully. So anyways, I only bought a couple of new things and I tried not to spend too much, but I got this like fun dress that I'm really excited to wear. I have this fun matching set. Um, I have another fun matching set. I brought a couple of things I had from my bachelorette that kind of like are within the theme of like what I'm trying to wear. I have this really cute new dress too that I got. It's like backless, it's like a halter. I'm really into halters lately. And then this is another matching set. Um, I need to go through and still pick all the bikinis. I only grabbed like one for each day, <laughs> um, which I might like have to wear two a day or something, but I have these cute like mesh. Actually, let me show you them in the drawer. So my bikini organization has always been an issue. So I actually started buying these mesh bags and putting a single bikini and then if it has like an accessory like a sarong or something putting it all in one so that way it's really easy to just like grab whichever bikini I want and throw it in a suitcase or pick it out for the day whatever it may be I still need to get some more of them to house the rest of these um but I just start I think I bought 24 or something to start with so I need to buy the rest of them but so 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 good for organization it looks like a lot better when I first did it. Now it's getting, they're getting a little wonky, but you get the idea. So I need to go through and make sure I have all the bathing, all the bathing suits that I want. Like for example, I might bring this one. That's just like a classic one um, and cover ups and everything. So that is the way that I've been doing my bikinis. And then I actually bought a new set of packing cubes off of Amazon because I've been using the same packing cubes like my entire adult life. And I wanted a neutral, like the pair I had was like, or the set I had was this like rainbow stripe. And I don't know, they were just obnoxious. So I wanted to get some neutral ones. And I actually found this set off of Amazon. It's a six piece set and it was only $10, which I feel like is crazy. It comes with like a shoe bag as one of the pieces, which I feel like will be nice for sneakers or something. And then five, is it five or four of these? One, two, three, four. Wait, where's the six? Maybe there's something in here. I don't know. It was supposed to be six pieces. Wait, there might be something in here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't even know what you would use this little one for. I could actually probably use that for shoes too because I have, I'm a size seven, so I can probably fit shoes in there too. But anyways, so it is six pieces. So it has two of these little things and then it's got four actual packing cubes. And I actually like that these are like m more smaller ones instead of like less bigger ones. So that way I can like hyper organize. So I'm gonna get going. I actually need to empty out that tote bag. That's gonna be my carry-on. And then I need to empty out the big suitcase that we're gonna be traveling with. It literally breaks my heart whenever we travel because Luca, as soon as he sees the suitcases come out, he like knows what's up and he knows we're about to be gone. And oh, it just breaks my heart. He's like, what are you doing? Take me with you. Anyways, so these are the su two suitcases. I'll be splitting this one with Jared and then this will be just mine. He'll have his own carry-on. And so I'm just gonna kind of get going on the stuff that's on the hangers and roll that and put it into my packing cubes for right now. Um, I'm gonna pick out like some of my like favorite things to throw into this one. And then anything that I think is like, okay, if I don't have it for a couple days, I'll put it into that one. I've also been on my supplement grind. So I have this, sorry, I have to try to do it with one hand. I have this little pill organizer that I'm actually obsessed with and it's great for longer trips because you can organize it by not only by day but also by like nighttime and daytime so i need to go through i actually have like leftover stuff in here so i need to clean that out and then refill it with all of my new supplements so i have my multivitamin my vitamin d inos inositol i still don't know how to say that and then my dietitian recommended i take these you know when you get like backed up you know whenever you're traveling she basically said bring these with you and, th and take them at night if you're having that problem um, and not to like take them all the time but basically just to like have as a backup so I'm gonna bring a couple of those just in case and then I think that's it I just have to grab my actual medicine from upstairs starting off strong with this shirt that I bought when I was in Nashville for my gosh was that my 28th birthday maybe I forget which birthday it was. I think it was 2022, so whatever year that was. Um, but this little howdy, 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 oversized pink 
ombre number. I feel like this would be great just for like a, a chill day if we have to run out. And then I'm a clothes roller, if you don't know. What I also love about these packing cubes is that the top is mesh so you can see into them. My other ones were not like that. So I also like to roll my clothes because you can see them all more easy instead of like having to take the clothes off the top to see the ones that are underneath. Um, this is gonna be a cute little number for like maybe daytime, I'm not sure. But it's this little, hold on, let me get it right. Um, it's just like a normal, honestly it's like a boy size Hanes tank. And then this little like pearl overlay thing. I don't even know how to describe clothes you guys. Um, but it's super cute, I feel like this with jeans is a really easy outfit that feels kind of Nash. I guess I could also wear that in, or wear this in DR, but I don't really need it. I'd rather save it for the other trip. Um, and then one of the themes we have is Disco Cowboy. So I have my bedazzled jeans and then this like uh, metallic silver top. I feel like this with cowboy boots would be really cute. Um, and then I don't know what, maybe I could like borrow someone's like, it'd be really cute because my cowboy boots are black. Maybe I could like borrow someone's black cowboy hat or like buy one while I'm there. Cause that actually would be really cute with this. So we'll just let go and let go out on that one. And then I'm obsessed with these jeans. I got them from Forever 21, so random. Um, but I literally love it. I'm gonna fold it so it's like this, so they don't get messed up. Some Levi shorts. I should probably leave these in the both pile. I also have no idea what the weather is gonna be in Nashville. Like I'm just like guessing, I hope, I'm hoping it's not cold. If it's cold, it's gonna be tragic because all I'm packing these things up. Um, I also have my Shania t-shirt very mandatory. I feel like this, I have an outfit actually I wore, and I'm so mad I got rid of these boots, you guys. I was just talking to Drew on the phone last night about how I'm so mad I got rid of these boots. I had these like cow hide, knee high, cow hide, knee high boots that I wore um, during my trip to Nashville with just like denim shorts like that, and then this oversight t-shirt, and that was honestly the cutest outfit. I'm really mad I can't re-wear that. And, Cause I'm just like that, like I just get rid of Clothes. I don't know, like I'm constantly going through my closet and getting rid of clothes and shoes and all that stuff because I hate like the clutter of my closet, you know? But anyways, I also have, I don't know whether I'm gonna wear this or not, but I feel like this could be another space cowboy, or what's it called, disco cowboy? Disco cowboy themed number. I don't know if you'll be able to see what this is, but basically it's this like overshirt thing that has, it's like black netting and has all these rhinestones and then it's got like feather, cuffs at the ends of the sleeves. I feel like this with just like a black bralette with like denim shorts and the black cowboy boots, I feel like that could be really cute as well. So I'm bringing that little number. This could also be something fun for someone to borrow if they need something to like spice up their outfit or whatever. Lucana. I like to do dressed up for dinner every night. So I'm bringing a couple of white dresses that I didn't get a chance to wear during wedding season and all that. So. I'm just gonna bring them and hopefully get a chance to wear them and maybe take a cute pic because honeymoon round two vibes. So I have that one and then I have this Princess Polly one. Two that I never got a chance to wear and just super cute. I just love these little like, not baby doll, but like sweetheart dresses almost. Like they're just a really flattering style on me. Also a random thing I'm gonna be bringing, which I have never brought on a trip before, but I'm excited to have with me, is one of my like hair turbans for whenever I wash my hair. I feel like whenever I go on a warm vacation, like swimming and all, all that, I have to wash my hair so often. And I hate using like the big towel to like put my hair in a towel, just like it's so bad for my hair. So I'm gonna bring this and have this for me in the hotel, which I'm super excited to have. Also, as far as like hair accessories, I always like to bring a bunch of these just like silk scarves because there's so many different things you can do with them. Um, you can wear it as a cover up and like tie it around your waist if you want. You can put it in your hair. You can wear it as um, like a regular bandana. You can wear it as a top. So it's just like very versatile. So I like to have these on the beach and at the pool and everything. How many outfits do I actually need for Nashville? <laughs> Not a lot. Probably like two going out outfits. Well, I think we're staying in Saturday night, so probably one going out outfit. I thought they were staying in Thursday night. Yeah, Saturday night. Oh, okay. Well, we're staying in two nights? 
Um, I think we'll probably go out. Thir I think Thursday night's line dancing, wasn't it? Oh, I'm missing that. Um, Ooh. but if I got at like 8 a.m. Sunday morning, like I don't think they're going out Saturday night. I mean, shit, we don't fight out at 8 a.m. Monday morning. <laughs> I mean, it's just the truth. Well, I'm not going to go to Nashville and stay at home. No, for real. No, she wants to stay at home. I can't. Do you want a jerk or not? Do you want a jerk or not? Because you're not going to get one with this attitude. <laughs> with this shit talking, you're not getting one. Okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jared's asking me about dinner. Babe, no, you're naked. I'm not making <laughs> I'm trying to scare Drew. They had, for some people over last weekend for her birthday slash her other friend's birthday. Everyone's talking to me at the same time. Hold on. Jared, they're in your closet. You put them away. Ugh. Your new outfits? They're in your closet. Oh, You guys, I can't do. What? No? What? And chunks? I don't know in your drawer with where the rest of them are. I don't know. Why are you yelling at me? She literally said count me out immediately. I was like, damn. Oh my God. I'll be right. Huh? Yes, only one. Shut up! What are you doing? Stop doing that! True. <laughs> What's the weather supposed to be? It's hot. Oh, hot, okay. Babe, say my name like that again and I'm gonna lose my mind. I made simple syrup from scratch. We have to get the, the pasta <laughs> We boil water and make pasta. Shut up! Shut up! I don't know. We just drinking all types of drinks. <laughs> Wait, what did you make for Chris? I made her a lemon drop, but I used the Don Julio. Oh. Oh, feel like packed. Better used, get to it. I used fresh lemon and I made simple syrup. Wow. What's that lady that makes all this stuff from scratch in our house? <laughs> Oh my narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried these from Costco? They're really good. Cool no, food. I'm off coffee. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she said she's off coffee. She's not. It's giving um, not my best friend anymore. It's I know, it's shit. actually terrible. I get a decaf like when I have a fix, when I need a fix. You changed. I have been having matcha, does that count? No, I mean, it has a little caffeine, but it's not yeah. obvious. Well, like, I still have, like, tea. Yeah. 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 It doesn't hit the same, though. This is all cleared off. Um, my makeup is in there. My, like, underwear and socks and everything will be in this one. And then I... Oh, I need to throw this in here, too. Um, and then my toiletries will go in here. I need to, like, figure out what to do with that hat, too. This is our shared suitcase, which is pretty much ready to zip up. Jared's half, mine is like encroaching on his, but Jared doesn't have backing cubes, so he's just got his piles going there. Um, and actually, honestly, this looks stuffed, but the way that this top goes on, we actually have a decent amount of room left, which will be good just in case we end up coming home with anything. So, I think we're in pretty good shape. It's probably in the fridge, right? Door, you come in. The setup is actually a little weird, but. Compliers in here. Bathroom is here. Yeah, is there a drink we can have? Oh, there's like actual flowers in here, cute. I'm sure, somewhere. Oh, I love when they have this. 
this? I need this. The oh, the bathroom. Oh, not a bidet. Two toilets. No, it's a, that one's a bidet. To you know what? Oh, this is what I love. Yeah, this looks like the, the, the shower I threw up in last. <laughs> Shut up. You mean last time? Oh, these are super nice. I feel like these must be like the new rooms that have been like redone. Um, nice big shower. Whoa, that shower head. Cute. Got our little closet and our robes. Little. Wait, so what did you say was in here? Mm, I think Presidente is beer in the back. I don't know if you're gonna like it. <laughs> I think we do need to drink water, like only water bottles, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. This is so cute, though. I love this lamp. She's a stunner. She's a stunner. Yeah, this must be like a refinished room. What is that? Oh, is that incense? Cute. Tomorrow? Yeah. Is it matches. Oh. Cute. So nice soft, little seating yeah. area. Sure. I wish there was like a bigger like couch though. Yeah. You know? Uh, but it's okay. <laughs> Hold on. And then out here, we've got a nice little patio, hot tub, and then two little loungers. And then the pool is like, I can hear at the pool, but it's close. But how beautiful. Love it. Uh, huh? What is? Huh? The QR code? Uh, what are you talking about? The Wi-Fi. Oh. You did good, babes. camera <laughs> <laughs> it's our honeymoon song. Excursion time. You excited? Oye. 
our little authentic Dominican meal. We're getting ready to go on this little booze cruise, which is a second half of our um, excursion that we did this morning. It's our last night in DR. We're walking to dinner. We're going to the other resort um, to try to go to their steakhouse over there because allegedly it's better. But we tried to go last night and it was an hour wait, so we didn't do that. Some of these adults out here can't control their liquor. <laughs> Nice it is Kid Central over here for real. So people are just now getting to the rooms. Long so we may do is I come down to the room. I ask for hot water for tea. I get a lemon ginger infused tea bag. I do ready? One, two, three, four, five. Wipe it off. You get the stir. Stir that up. Sorry to make it in jail too. <laughs> okay, say goodbye room. Bye room. Bye room. You, we have all our stuff from outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, tell them how nice the airport is. Oh, I'm mad about my ticket. Tell them what happened, babes. No. Just tell them. I don't want to relive it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Anyways, this is nice. Excuse me, ma. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs>